In this video, what we're gonna do is see how we can use Cinema 4D's snap tools and move things precisely with the modeling axis. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, well, we are going to talk about snapping and moving things precisely. They really do go hand in hand. Um, so it's hard to really separate them. We'll talk about them individually and then obviously how we can work with them together. So first, let's start by kind of just going through the basics of snapping. So snapping right here can be toggled on or off using the shortcut key Shift S as well. And we also have modeling settings that go along with it. So don't be confused, it's actually snap settings. Now, um, if you left click and hold on snap, not only will you see snap in here, but also the ability to enable quantizing, which means when you move things or rotate things, it will only move in specific amounts. That can be useful, that can help you move things precisely. That's really not what I'm going to focus on. It's gonna be moving um, things in relate objects in relation to other objects, you know, trying to take a cube and snap it to the top of, um, say, the cube next to it, um, that type of movement. And uh, in general, I will say Cinema 40's snap settings are not nearly as good uh, as some of the other 3D applications. I came from 3D Studio Max uh, and even Maya before that, and I really, really missed 3D Studio Max's snap settings once I got in here. But if we open up our snap settings, and you'll also see the options for quantize as well. Like I was saying, if you wanna move things in specific amounts, move, rotate, scale, uh, or texture, uh, snap, you know, uh, this is the toggle really when you're turning it on or off. You have a couple of different modes here. I, for the most part, auto snap seems to work the best and means I don't have to open up an additional menu in order to kind of switch this. Uh, I will say a lot of my snapping or movement, I do, uh, use my top view, my left view, those orthographic views. So that really is more of a 2D snap. Um, and when I am snapping things in a perspective view, uh, 3D snap, I am constantly orbiting to make sure it's snapping to where it should be. Uh, now below that, you have what you can snap things to. All the different, you know, parts of geometry you would expect. Points, edges, polygons, splines, axis, uh, intersections. And intersections doesn't work quite as much as I would like. You can also do grid uh, and work plane or guides. Once again, I don't find those too useful. Really point is the most common one I use as well as axis occasionally. Now, one of the things that really is unfortunate with Cinema 4D Snap is it really only wants to snap from the axis. Uh, and so that means you know, now that I've turned on snap, if I'm trying to snap this, that's what is going to snap to different points. And you can see it's going through and doing that. But that isn't always what I want. I don't want to snap from my axis to a point. Ideally, I would like to say, hey, take this point and snap to that point. And that's really where I think Cinema 4D snapping tools fall short. The good news is there's a way to do that it's just not as easy or straightforward or fast as you uh, would want it to be. Uh, in order to do this, you do need to have an editable object. So I'm gonna turn this object editable by hitting C on my keyboard. Okay, could also hit the editable button here. And so, yeah, I mean, we've kind of seen the basics of snap. You can click and drag and it will snap from the axis of your current object to whatever you have turned on in your snap settings. And once again, in those settings, we could turn on, say, polygon. And so we should see um, this snap to polygon. Now, it will also show you what it's snapping to as well. It's saying polygon snap, um, so you can see point snap here. So um, that can be helpful, especially if, if you have multiple things turned on. I generally don't recommend having multiple things turned on. Um, point is really, like I've said, the, the best one. So um, because you can't really just say, hey, take this point here, this object, and move it from it and snap it to, say, that point, um, what we need to do is figure out a quick way to move our axis. Now, you could use your axis tools, okay? So if we go to tools, axis, come here to axis center and say, all right, you know, I want this at the bottom of the object. I want it to be... Um, Let's see, uh, on this corner, right? Apply this. Now I could come through and move this and snap it, okay? But that's really 
tedious. And unfortunately, there isn't a, a significantly better way of doing this. It's a similar way, um, the, the next part of this process. Um, but that's pretty much it. Now, notice when um, you know I really want to snap this, I'm not clicking on any individual axis because that allows me to move it on all three and snap it to say that point or this point or that one or this one. Uh, whereas if I just use one, um, it will move it and snap it. But this is where you have to be careful because as you can see, it visually looked like it was snapping that point, this point to that point. But in reality, it wasn't because I wasn't allowing it to move on all three axes. And so that's where that 2D and 3D snap comes in. It's why you want to be careful and orbit often. So um, that's one way you can you know, move things, snap things exactly the way you want is by moving the axis center. But if you are trying to snap, you know, one object or just part of an object uh, that can, you know, be very tedious. And, and actually, I don't think it would work for part of an object, which is um, what we'll see next. So if whole object, this is one way you can do it. The other way you can do this is inside your move tool, this axis option here. And essentially this gives you the ability to control the axis or modeling axis as they call it for whatever you have a selection of points, edges, or polygons. Notice now how this becomes active. So what I could do is make a selection of points, something like this. Make sure I go back to my move tool. I just hit E on my keyboard instead of going all the way over there. And now you can see we have some built-in presets for where this axis should be, um, uh, its orientation. Uh, honestly, though, the biggest thing is just these sliders, just like we had in the axis center. So oftentimes when I want to snap something, I'm having to constantly come through here and say, cool, I want to snap it, you know, from there. And now I can take this, these points, this selection and snap it to different you know, parts of my scene, right? So I was able to kind of skew it that way. And that is really the best way of doing it. Like I said, it's not all that different from our ob uh, our axis tools from up here. The difference really is that um, we're able to do it for a selection. And it's a real pain that you have to come in here and kind of do this. Now, um, one thing I've done in a pinch as well is turned on my enable access modification, and that will also allow you to kind of move this and snap this. My problem with this is that it's not always precise. So you have to be careful that you're moving something on all three axes, so that way it actually is snapping to where you want. You have to remember to turn it off. So there is a, another option, uh, another way of doing this, but you also have to be careful um, when working with this. And so ultimately, that's how I move things precisely. That's how I use these snap tools. It's a combination of different things. And whenever you have to do something like this, where it's a combination of different things, uh, it's not as, as good as it should be. You know, snap should be a self-contained thing where I'm able to kind of tell this where I want to snap from and snap to all within the tool without having to move my axis without having to enable access modification, or if I'm trying to snap an entire object, um, use my access tool. So that snap, and if it seems like I'm a little bit bitter towards it, it's because I am. In the grand scheme of things, I have gotten away from moving things uh, precisely in Cinema 4D because it's so much extra work and it's so much more involved. Now there's definitely places and times where it matters, so it is useful to know, don't get me wrong. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, as long as it looks good visually, uh, that's usually good enough for at least me and the the uses, you know, I have run into. Okay, so hopefully that helps. I know the snap tools can be confusing, especially how to use them. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about our snap tools and working with our axis to move things precisely. So that will do it for uh, this one. If there's anything else you would like to see, please let me know. And until next time. Take care.